Hi, this is Sean D'Souza, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation Podcast. This podcast isn't some magic trick about how to work less. Instead, it's about how to really enjoy the work that you do and to enjoy your vacation time. Hi, I'm Sean, and you're listening to the Three Month Vacation. Let's suppose you're about to write an article or a report or a book, or you have to give a presentation. So all of these are ways in which you have to communicate. But there's a problem. And that problem is that you're stuck. You can't seem to get off the ground. And this is quite normal because the moment we start to do anything, we are totally overconfident because we have this germ of an idea and we think we can do this. And then, for no apparent reason, we get stuck. The method that I found very useful over the years to get unstuck is to find something or some book or some article that I don't agree with at all, or at least partly don't agree with. Take, for instance, a book that I'm reading right now. No, I'm not going to tell you the name, but... I agree with a lot of it. The writer is very diligent. She's gone about doing her research and she's really put her heart and soul into the book. So there are parts that are absolutely stunning. They're really well done. But there are parts that I don't agree with at all. And those are the parts that I'm looking for. Which seems pretty odd when you're trying to read a book because you're not really trying to disagree with the author. But if you find such a book, or if you find articles like this, it's just like finding treasure. In this book that I'm reading, in one of the chapters, she talks about creating interest. And she says, there is no formula, there is no system, there is no method to create interest. We don't know how interest is created. We don't know how people get excited about something. And I disagree. I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly. People get interested in stuff which is fun and easy. And if you have Photoshop, that's intimidating. And if you have Photoshop at the cafe without a computer, without needing to learn any tools or do all the complicated stuff, now it's fun and it's easy. If you look at how to cook Indian food, you get the same problem. It's complicated, too many spices, too many things you don't know about. And that's intimidating. So how are you going to get interested in something that's intimidating? Well, you make it fun and you make it easy. And this podcast is not about how do we make it fun and how do we make it easy. Instead, we're talking about how to get those creative juices flowing yet again. And yet, what I'm asking you to do might not be that simple, because how are you going to find that book? How are you going to find that report? It's not as easy as it seems. So the other way that I'd go about it is to play devil's advocate. And this is what I've been doing on chat, on WhatsApp and Messenger, with quite a few people recently, one of them being Leanne Hughes, the other being Els Jacobs. And we're talking about strengths and weaknesses. And of course... We start off with this whole concept that we should work on our weaknesses and improve our weaknesses. And then somewhere along the way, we read a book, we do some test, and then we realize, wait a second, we should be focusing on our strengths. And I want to go in between. I'm going, no, not strengths, not weaknesses, somewhere in between. And so you start to play devil's advocate. And it's quite interesting where the discussion can go. But most of all, what it's really doing is it's creating this energy for you to come at a different angle, to think differently. And therefore, it gets you writing, it gets you speaking, gets your ideas for the presentation. 
and suddenly you're breaking through that block that you have. You're no longer stuck. But let's say that you don't agree with the first method or the second method. There is a third way, and that is to get someone who you know will disagree with you. And so now you're pushing against this force. So, for instance, if you send something my way, you can be sure that I'll be happy to play devil's advocate. And now you have to defend your position. And that's very good as well, because when you get into this explainer mode, which is what we talked about in other podcasts, you step into this speaking mode, this explaining mode, and suddenly you have this clarity of what you're trying to defend and why you're trying to defend it and how you would go about defending it. There is just one caveat here. You have to remember that you're having a discussion, that you're trying to explain things, that you can't get upset with the other person trying to play devil's advocate because that's their job, to play devil's advocate, to push so that your ideas become clearer and stronger every single time. And so you can't be playing, oh no, I don't want to play this game anymore. No, that's not the way you can go ahead. And if you're wondering why I'm telling you all of this stuff, it's because I've had to do this. I've had to write articles, I've had to do some podcasts, a lot of podcasts in fact, and even to write a book. And while I've done all of this before, doing all of these things at the same time, and you run out of energy, and then you think you have no topics, and you're stuck. Well, it's time to use some disagreement, some devil's advocate, or find a devil's advocate, and that's how you get unstuck. If you use this method, email me and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And that brings us to the end of this podcast. What's the one thing you can do today? find someone who disagrees with you or disagree with someone and have this game back and forth and you'll see how quickly you can get unstuck. So what's happening in psychotactics land? Well, info products, uniqueness and the article writing course. They are the next three things showing up and there are goodies and if you want those goodies then www.psychotactics.com slash info goodies. That's for information products. For article writing it is aw goodies so psychotactics.com slash aw goodies and if it's uniqueness that you're interested in then that's you goodies so again psychotactics.com for all of them aw goodies you goodies info goodies lots of goodies to go around but the biggest goodie of them is 5000 bc 5000 bc is this place where you have to be kind and helpful and you can ask your question, not some random question on the internet or Facebook where you have all of these crazy answers. You get specific articles written in response to your question. I don't know where else on the internet you'd get that kind of service. So try 5000 BC because it's a very cool place to be. So that's 5000BC.com. Go there, join us. And of course, you get first preference for everything. So you might as well be in 5000 BC. So we'll see you in 5000 BC land. That's me, Sean D'Souza, saying bye for now. Bye-bye. Still listening? You might have figured out where I'm getting stuck. For so many years, I've been talking about this book on talent. And the other day, Jay Raj, who's a member of 5000 BC, he asked a pointed question. He said, when is the book being released? And I wrote back an answer and I said, oh, Renuka and I have to have a meeting. Well, I don't know whether you can actually have a meeting for when a book is being released. But we had to pick a date. And so we picked a date. And I said to Renuka, what date would you pick? And she said, 15th of March. And I said, how about April? Okay, she says, April then. And then I said, how about April 4th? And she says, okay, fine, April 4th. And there you have it. There's a date for Suddenly Talented. That's the name of the book, by the way. And now you also have an insight into how scientific our system is when we decide a date for the book. Now you know. Bye-bye.